Welcome to the Build Your Reiki Business Podcast. I'm Christian of Standing Stones Healing, founder of the Reiki Business Collective and creator of the Build Your Reiki Business Program, sending blessings and best wishes to your Reiki business. Greetings, welcome, and thanks so much for tuning in to this week's episode of the Build Your Reiki Business Podcast. I'm Christian of Standing Stones Healing, and of course, I am honored and grateful to have you here with me, so thank you so very much. In this week's episode, we're talking about writing a book for your Reiki business. In specific, I'm taking you behind the scenes of my brand new forthcoming book, Reiki Business Ready. So I'm going to talk to you about uh, how the book came to be and um, how I have um, put it together and put it up on Amazon. You know, when we think about writing a book for our Reiki business, um, we might have the thought of, there's no way that I can do that. That is crazy to think that I could write a book. Maybe it's something you'd really like to do, but it's not something that um, you feel that you could do. But I'm here to tell you that, yes, you can. And... um, Even I will tell you that the world of Amazon is um, a pretty big world and there's a lot to learn, but I'm going to offer you some information in this episode that will hopefully be helpful for you. Now, I want to encourage you to please definitely check out the book. You can, of course, look it up on Amazon. I'll put the direct link down below, but if you just go to Amazon and type in Reiki Business Ready, it'll pop right up. And Reiki Business Ready is in the pre-order stage, which means that it is not yet available to read, but you can indeed order it to be able to read it when it is released on September the 7th. You can learn more about getting it in all of the different Amazon markets where, yes, it is available, not just in the U.S. Amazon market, but across all Amazon markets at standingstoneshealing.com slash ready. On that page, I have links to all of the different markets uh, of Amazon as well as FAQs about the book. Um, And uh, you can learn more about what is involved with the book. It also includes some really awesome bonus content. Oh, and by the way, in its pre-order stage, it's available for only 99 cents. So I'm really excited and honored to be able to offer it and to be able to offer it uh, to all of you and our blessed Reiki community for only 99 cents. So definitely order your copy. Um, By the way, I will say that if you are interested in the book, uh, and you're wondering, can you get it as a paperback, an ebook? It's currently only available as an ebook. Um, I'll talk about why in a little bit as I talk about uh, the book itself and the creation of the book. Um, but it is currently only available as an ebook and on Kindle, but you don't have to have a Kindle reader. You can access the book through your Amazon account. I tell you exactly how on my standingstoneshealing.com slash ready page. But anyway, the book started way back in, well, I guess maybe not way back for the life of a book, but back in October of 2023. At that time, I gave a workshop called, Is It Time to Start Your Reiki Business? And in that workshop, I talked about um, different ways Uh, to know whether or not it was time to start your Reiki business. I forget exactly how many ways there were in that talk, but um, it, it, it formed the basis of the book. So after I gave that talk, is it time to start your Reiki business? I thought, you know, this is really great and helpful information because it provides a roadmap for Reiki practitioners who are considering starting a Reiki business aren't sure if it's time to start, are wondering what it takes to start, and even wondering what they might need to do to be ready to start a Reiki business. And so I thought this would be great if I could put this together as a book. 
And my first thought was, yes, this would be a great book. And my second thought was, oh my gosh, now I have to figure out how to put it up on Amazon and, and create it into a book and format it and all of that other stuff. And yes, there is a lot to know for that. I will say that I did previously publish a book um, years ago, and it was a book of poems and photographs. Um, I used to have a, a big poetry background and um, was very active in poetry, wrote poetry every single day, and uh, published a book. Now, I didn't publish it. It was traditionally published. This means that you go through a publishing house to publish your book. So you write the book and then you submit it to a publisher and a publisher says, yes, we will publish your book. And so the publisher takes care of all of the things like the design of the book, the layout, the formatting, um, the distribution of the book on um, places like Amazon or um, in different booksellers like Barnes and Noble or wherever it might be distributed. The publisher takes care of that. Now, here's a little bit of an aside that's kind of a, a trick in the publishing industry is that you, dear author, are still responsible for marketing the book. So many people think that if they go through a publisher, then the publisher markets the book and they don't have to. I'm sorry to tell you that the publisher actually really doesn't publish the or market the book. It's it's still your job to publish to market the book when you go through a traditional publisher. Um and so doing things like readings, book launches, um telling people about your book, posting on social media, all of that is still your responsibility. Depending on the publisher, they may very well do some of that, but by and large you dear writer, are responsible for marketing the book. So if you think you're going to write a book, shove it off to a publisher, they do all the work and you just collect the royalties, I'm sorry to tell you that is not going to happen. <laughs> I'm also sorry to tell you I know from experience that when you go through a traditional publisher, your cut of the royalties is pretty darn low <laughs> because they've done all of the work with the formatting, the cover, the design, the distribution, and they want to get a cut. They want to get something out of it. So I am here to tell you that if you want to publish a book through a traditional publisher, you are still going to need to do a lot of the work yourself and you are not off the hook. Uh, the publisher's job will be with the design, the cover, the formatting, the distribution, but you still have to play a major role in the marketing of the book and getting, uh, getting it to sell. I also want to mention that when you go through a traditional publisher, you are signing over the rights to your book. So you are giving them the rights to your book to do with as they please for the terms, the length of the contract. And so what that means is that with my first book, if I wanted to take some of the poems and get them published somewhere else or create another book from them, I would have had to have gotten permission from my publisher to do that because I pretty much signed over the work that was in that book to them to do with as they please. Or if I wanted to turn the book into an audio book, I would have needed to get my publisher's permission to do that, even though it was my work. And this is one of the reasons why I'm a big proponent of self-publishing. And I really do feel that self-publishing is a great way to go. And of course, when I was contemplating publishing Reiki Business Ready, um, it absolutely, without a doubt, was going to be self-published. And self-publishing is just when you are um, publishing the work yourself. You're not going through a publishing house to do it for you. You can still hire out help. So you can still pay someone to design the cover, pay someone to do the editing, hire someone for help with the formatting into the book format, whatever. You can still pay people to help, but you're not going through a publisher to whom you are signing off the rights of the book and to whom you are um, 
giving up part of your royalties. So I am a big advocate of self-publishing. I also am, especially because then you own the content and you can do what you want with it, which means that you can turn your book into a course if you want to, for instance. But so I I determined, yes, Reiki Business Ready, without a doubt, will be self-published. So what I did was I took the content of that workshop and that became the foundation of the book. And so if you are thinking, I would love to publish, I would love to write a book for my Reiki business or even just a book in general, you might be worried and thinking, well, what would I write the book about? I have nothing to write about. And that is not true. In our Reiki business, we are oftentimes always creating content, whether that content is articles for our blog on our website or videos for Instagram or YouTube or whatever it might be. Maybe we're writing articles for different publications, but when we are creating that kind of content, in our Reiki business, we can turn around and repurpose that, including into a book. And a lot of the hard work has already been done. So for my, is it time to start your Reiki business workshop? The hard work was already done. I had already had an outline. I already had things I talked about, um, examples and um, just all kinds of encouragement. And all of that became the basis for the book. Now, that doesn't mean the writing of the book was easy because I still had to turn all of that workshop content into a book book and still had to um, turn it into sentences and paragraphs and still had to format it and edit it and all of that. Um, But the beginning part of what do I write about? What is the flow? What is the structure? Was all taken care of. And so you too, for your Reiki business, can write a book from content that you've already created when the structure is already there. So a lot of the hard work is already done for you if you've already created content in your Reiki business, like a workshop or a class or um, uh, blog articles or YouTube videos. All of that can be turned into a book whatever the topic of the book is that you might want it to be. I recommend that you, if you are writing it for your Reiki business, that you create something that would appeal to your audience. So something that your clients, your students, your followers would be interested in reading and consuming, something that would help and benefit them. And so that formed the basis of the book Reiki Business Ready. And so what I did was I took the that basic structure with all of my ideas and thoughts and everything, and I started formulating it, um, remembering stories from my um, experiences, um, uh, appointment sessions that I had with clients and mentees, And using those to help illustrate the different ways that we might know that we're ready for a Reiki business. And so I knew that, is it time to start your Reiki business was like way too long of a title for a book. (laughs) It was even way too long of a title for a workshop, frankly, but I knew it needed some other kind of uh, name, some other kind of title. So I did some massaging of the title, did some thinking about it, did some thinking about the content of the book, put put things all together, and I ended up then giving it, I did pay an editor to just clean up the first rough draft. Uh, the editor didn't write any of it at all. They just made sure that it was cleaned up into sentences and paragraphs and all of that. Because remember, I took the content from the workshop and so it wasn't in book format and it needed to be turned into sentences, paragraphs, um, grammatically correct kinds of things. 
And so he did that for me, cleaned it up for me, but there was still a lot of work left to do after that initial cleanup. And so I needed to write more. I knew I needed to write more. I knew because it was simply a one hour workshop that I needed to expand upon it. So the workshop formed the foundation and I built up from that foundation with Reiki Business Ready, um, adding all of the stories, adding the personal experiences. So adding uh, quite a bit to the book to fill it out, um, adding an introduction, adding another way in another couple of ways, I think, into the book. So I really added to it and made it uh, much fuller than from a workshop. So what I'm saying is that if you base your book on existing content, I encourage you to still fill it out, make sure that it has um, substance to it, make sure that you're filling in the gaps that might exist in our content in one form, like a blog article or a YouTube video versus a book, which is going to offer a little bit more substance typically. I mean, there are a lot of not good back books out there with that really lack substance, and the truth is that on Amazon, you could write something that's five pages and call it a book. Like, really, you could do that. Um, Reiki Business Ready is way more than five pages. However, it is not a long book. This is why I'm initially submitting it and distributing it in ebook format because it's not long. You can read the book in an hour, an hour and a half. I don't know, depending on how quickly you read, but um, it's meant to be a smaller, more digestible book. It's not meant to explain how to set up your Reiki business, all of the steps that are involved. It's simply the first book to help you determine if you're ready to start your Reiki business and how to get ready to start your Reiki business if you're not yet. And so it's very simple in that way as a very first step. I really wanted that book to be um, very rudimentary. And I mean rudimentary only in the sense of just the very first step. And so, yes, I do have more Reiki business books forthcoming. Um, it will take some time <laughs> because this book took longer than I expected it to. Here is something that's important to know. In our Reiki business, things always take longer than we think they will. And I know that. And yet I still thought that this would be quicker than it was. <laughs> so, you know, I did the workshop in October. I expected the book to be ready and um, available in May. That was my goal. And with all of the other things I have going on, um, at that time, I also created a new program, the Distance Reiki Business Builder, um, which was something that I added. The, the book was, was in conception first. And then I added a new program. Like what the heck do I do? You know, while meeting with clients and students and still offering and, um, running the build your Reiki business program. So like, what the heck do I do to myself? Right. But I love it. <laughs> I am just an endless creative and I will just create, create, create. As soon as I finished Reiki Business Ready, I was so excited to start the next book. It's going to have to wait a little bit because I have so much going on. But um, things take longer than we expect them to. And so it did take longer to um, produce Reiki Business Ready than I expected. But um, it is uh, almost ready to go. And you can upload a book to Amazon. It's actually relatively easy in some senses. The formatting of the book is one of the most challenging things. I can't go into depth on that in this podcast, but um, there are ways uh, to um, be able to do it using Kindle's own software that maybe isn't the best, but it's, it's, it's available. And, um, it was what I went with because I didn't even realize that there were lots of options out there. I just went with Kindle's version, which is really 
rather clunky and old too. Like I couldn't believe it. Like Amazon, you know, it's Amazon. You would think that they would have better software for formatting their books. I was shocked. (laughs) But um, there are some places to watch out for in setting up your Amazon account, but it's basically straightforward. And then you upload the content, upload the cover, write your book description. There is a real art to that, by the way. Um, and all of, an art to all other kinds of things um, that, again, in this limited episode, I can't go too behind the scenes on. But it's also not as challenging as I thought it might be, actually. And so now it's available for pre-order. I went with the pre-order because I wanted to get the book out there and get it promoted while putting on the finishing touches. So I have just a couple of finishing touches that I am working on, and I'm including a lot of bonus content with the book that I am putting the finishing touches on right now as well. And so then what will happen is on September the 7th, I'll upload the um, final book file on uh, or before, a few days before the 7th. Amazon gives you a few days. You have to upload it by, I think it's the 3rd for me. I'll have it uploaded before then, of course, because it's almost done. But then on September the 7th, everyone who ordered it will get it delivered straight to their Kindle. Or if you don't have a Kindle, you'll be able to read it through your Amazon account. Again, I explain how to access it, how to find it in your Amazon account on the book's website, standingstoneshealing.com slash ready. And then that's it. And then the book will be available immediately. And anyone who purchases it, purchases it will be able to get it immediately then on the 7th and thereafter. The bonus content, there's a special link in the book that you can click on to then go to a specific place to access the book's bonus free content. I'm super excited about that. It includes the audiobook version, um, an 18 page workbook full of all kinds of deeper reflections, um, and affirmations with drum and rattle and Native American style flute. So I was really excited to create that too. I am talking about the book on the Reiki Rays Healing Summit this November. So you can tune into the Reiki Ray Summit to hear me talk about the book. I also previously talked about it on the Enlighten and Elevate podcast with Kelly Matthews. And uh, that link is available on standingstoneshealing.com slash ready as well. So you can get an idea of the book's content. But uh, I'll be talking about it on the Reiki Ray Summit this November. So you'll get to hear all about it there as well. So please do check it out, standingstoneshealing.com slash ready. I'm super excited to be able to bring this book to our community, including at the very special 99 cent rate. Pricing on Amazon, by the way, is a whole other thing as well. The lowest you can price a book is 99 cents. And you can price um, an ebook up to nine. No, you can price it as much as you want, but it, there's a whole royalty scheme as well. So there is a lot to know about publishing on Amazon, um, but it is a great way to get your book distributed. Not everyone likes Amazon. I'm sorry if you don't like Amazon. I had someone tell me this weekend, I won't buy your book because it's on Amazon and I hate Amazon. I'm sorry. I have a global audience. And that's really the best way to distribute to a global audience. So I get it if you don't like Amazon and I needed to use it for Reiki Business Ready. But I appreciate it. Please do feel free to check out the book, learn all about it, and to snag it at that special 99 cent amazing uh, price in its pre-order phase. And um, I really look forward to having you read it and let me know what you think. Um, Excitingly, as a pre-order book, it is number one, a number one new release in all 
three of its categories. So that's exciting. It has gotten rave reviews from the book's first readers. Thank you, dear first readers, for your feedback. And I can't wait to bring it to you on September 7th. There will be a launch party. The link for that is down below as well. It will be live on Facebook and you are welcome to join. So thank you so very much. I'm sending lots of blessings and best wishes to your Reiki business. Thanks for tuning in to the Build Your Reiki Business podcast. Please like, share, subscribe, and send to a friend. Learn more about the Build Your Reiki Business program at standingstoneshealing.com slash build. Sending blessings and best wishes to your Reiki business.